Early on, they established that there was no evidence whatsoever of human-to-human -human transmission. None. Everyone knew this. The, the inventor of the SARS-CoV-2 virus confesses it in his publications. He's like, we, we don't even, we can't, we may be able to do some damage. He goes, this isn't even really that much of a bioweapon. <clears throat> Pandemic, it's not infectious. It's not that damaging. We need to actually make a chimeric spike protein. They knew that there was no human human to transmission. So the PCR tests, the CDC, this is their published data. They knew um, the tests used between 2020 and 2021 were false positives. So I'm just, what I'm trying to show people is that this was a complete made up story. The, the PCR tests, they knew they were going to be false positives. So, because they knew there was no transmission, the, 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 this virus was never a threat. This is, or, their, know, this never is their document. Anybody. Is this their documentation? This is the CDC's data. 97% so false rate on a PCR test? On the PCR test, under the emergency use PCR test. Can now, you imagine? So what, they, what this was, no, so novel means new, but also means story. So what this means is that the PCR test, like if you were watching a movie or in a theater, it's, it was the prop that was needed to convince the audience that there was this deadly virus. So it was nothing more than like, a, it's, it's, it's as effective as testing for a virus as monopoly money is at buying a house or a home. But if you have everyone doing it over and over again, you start believing it's real. This was nothing more than a prop. And the CDC knew it and they needed that prop and this compulsory testing to convince people that there was an infectious virus.